Hey guys, if you're like me who just picked up a newer Sony camera like the A6700 and you're having trouble pairing it with your iPhone, well, you're not alone. And in this video, I'm gonna show you a workaround on how to fix that. All I'm trying to do here is one, get the photos off this camera onto my phone wirelessly. Two, I wanna use my phone as a camera remote. Simple as that. Don't get me wrong, Sony makes great cameras, great hardware, but sometimes their software sucks. Since I bought the A6700 used, I was slightly panicking that it might be an issue with the camera. So I decided to do my due diligence, got my Pixel 7a, and it was immediately able to connect the two together without any issue. And this proves that my camera is just fine. It is the actual iOS app that is having the issue. First, I'm gonna replicate the issue to show you what the behavior is actually like. If you want to skip ahead, I'll include a time code straight to the solution. First thing first, I go under menu, go under network settings, go under control, PC remote, and then you're going to hit smartphone connection. It's going to prompt you to install the creator app, all that fun stuff, which I did right here. Next, I'm going to hit connect with my camera, connect with your camera, hit next. I'm going to find Sony a6700 right here, pairing, and then hit start connection. This is where it got stuck, all right? It just says select an accessory. Nothing is happening here. Just It just stays like this forever, all right? All my Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are all enabled and I tried turning off the Wi-Fi, I tried everything and it's not working. All right, here's a workaround. We're gonna bypass Bluetooth and use Wi-Fi directly. First thing first, we're gonna go under menu under network settings, what I like to do is to make sure that the Wi-Fi frequency band is five gigahertz. Before you do that, make sure your phone supports that. And I know my iPhone 15 Pro Max does. This gives me a faster transfer speed. Next thing is I'm gonna go back up here and I'm going to hit control or PC remote, PC remote function. Don't do the smartphone connection, do the PC remote function. Then I'm gonna go down here and do the Wi-Fi direct info, exit and go. And you'll see your passwords and stuff like that here. You're gonna enter your password and you're gonna join it. All right, next thing, you're gonna go under your Wi-Fi settings. You're going to find the Wi-Fi from the camera. In this case, the A6700 right here. And we're gonna enter the password. Now you can see we're connected here. We'll go back to the app. You can see PC remote is on. Now you can see the A6700 is now popped up. You're gonna click on that and boom. Now you can do remote shooting. Take a picture. Cool. You can change the menu. Cool, awesome. You can exit. You can now actually do import as well. And okay. Here's some turkeys. I'm gonna import this guy right here. Boom, hit okay. It's super fast because it's Wi-Fi. A quick tip is that you can also set up your import settings by clicking on the settings button. And then you can see target slot one. There's only one slot on the A6700. Image size, you can do a compressed version which is two megapixel or the original. I like the original better. And then you can also import JPEG and HEIF, or you can even import RAW, which is pretty amazing. Click on the connected via Wi-Fi right here. You can disconnect just like this. Boom, you're now disconnected. And this is how you get around the Bluetooth issue on the Creators app by Sony on the iOS system. Have fun creating content that you love and feel free to subscribe and let me know if you have any questions. See you soon. Peace.